Oof, what happened to my hair? <laughs> Bending over and everything. So I know everyone's been watching the reels and they're like, when's he gonna do another lesson? So this is gonna do, be a small backing track with just a bass. We're starting off with E, A, and B, which are the minor tones or minor positions of a G major scale. And then it's gonna to switch to the one, four, five, which is the G, C, A, D, which are the major tones. Now in the major tones, when I play over that, I will solo through all of the positions. But when I go into the minors, I only use the, the, the A position, the B and the E, and sometimes the F sharp, which is a half, that's like a half um, diminished half minor, which you could throw in, but it's not the best sounding but you could do a diminished run off of it as like a change. So this is what it's gonna sound like. And we're gonna, I'm not, oh, whoops, let's rewind it. So I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna sound because this is just coming out of the speaker and I'm not doing it through the board with headphones. So we'll see. And then notice how I start off in the E position. This is just the random licks and stuff that I've been showing you to show you how, if I was to solo with some of those licks, which chords did I would put it over to give you a better understanding. Again, playing over the E minor um, part of, which is the relative minor, the one, four, five is a um, E, A, E. That, and that's the F sharp scale, which goes over a B chord. So you can use it like that, or you can play the diminished run. So if you go. And then you get back into the A minor position, and then you can go on, depending on how long the chords are going. So this is a way if, if you want to figure out looping wise, and if you can put those parts together, you know, like with some kind of looper, you know, the minor chords, and then say so you use the minor chords as um, your solo, and then uh, you want to use the major chords as your song. <laughs> Your solo chords so that's how I would use that so those minor licks I would start off using the minor positions in the major ones I would use all the positions so that I hope that gives you a better understanding of even how some of those crazy licks work you know um, sometimes it's about chord choice and not no choice mm, think backwards chord choice instead of no choice because it doesn't matter what your note choices are if the chord isn't viable. If it, so like what I mean by that is, in, in, you got a C here, there's a C the octave, but if I'm in the key of G, that's very dissonant. So it depends on the chord which dictates some of the notes. And now remember, the scales came first and then the chords. So whatever notes you, you land on or play is gonna influence the chord choice. And sometimes it goes backwards. You know, not all the time does the C major chord sound good in a, the key of G if you're landing on C and you're on the G major tone. You have to be careful with that. You know, you can use them as passing tones and whatnot, but you just have to be very careful so I hope this is like a better understanding of some of those licks and you can see how some of the fancy licks work too. All right, peace out. And I got some more reels to get to the 1000 subscriber to get the algorithms up there so that they stay up there. 
All right, you guys have a good day.